My specific research interest is in prostate cancer in African-American men. I see the African-American uh, disparity in prostate cancer incidence and mortality as a window to the, uh, the epidemic of prostate cancer globally among men of African origin. The issue of looking at prostate cancer on a global scale is very fascinating. You look at African-American men in the United States and African men born of African origin on another continent separated by several miles, and they do have the same common problem. And we are seeing very stark similarities between the tumor biology of African-American men and those on the African continent. The RESPOND initiative is really an initiative that is in partnership with the Prostate Cancer Foundation and the NCI as a national uh, campaign, really, uh, looking at linking epidemiologic risk factors, including stress and environmental exposures to the biology of prostate cancer, together to really solve the, pro uh, the problem of prostate cancer health disparities nationwide. And it's really a multi-institutional study for which Murphy Cancer Center is participating, and I'm very happy to be one of the investigators on this study. The important thing is to know that if there is an increased risk in a population of patients, then regulations such as when to have a first PSA testing done or if you have a family member who had prostate cancer at a younger age, what to do about that? I mean, these are basic fundamental questions that the community, the African-American community, need to be aware of. Because we can come up with all the treatments that we have, which is great, but if we don't address why more of these patients are getting the disease in the first place and why they are being diagnosed later in a later stage, I think the disparity will remain. So there is first um, awareness, to allow African-American men to get engaged in the issue early on. But it's also a question of the scientists being able to say, if I'm designing a study, I need to design it so that I can engage the African-American community to participate in that study. So it becomes a multi-pronged solution. I think that's the only way we can address the problem. I don't think it's, it's fair to the patient to say, well, I can't help you now, but maybe 10 years later, I will. I believe that we need to accelerate our work, and that's a unique strength of the Prostate Cancer Foundation.